Ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing a little unbox uh, benchmarking and review of a Lenovo Y700. I got specs right on the side here. We got an i7, one terabyte hard drive, an SSD with 256 gigs, and the other stuff is whatever. Let's get right into it. This is an official unboxing. I have not opened this yet. I gotta say, the box has more weight to it than I was expecting. This is easily the heaviest laptop that I've opened in a very, very long time. I wonder if I'm supposed to open it like this, maybe, for dramatic effect. Dun, dun, dun! Oh, wow, it opens up like wings. That's awesome. Very nice. Got a fabric -y kind of case here. Look how it comes. Oh, there she is. She's beautiful. Looks a lot like the Y50.70. Oh, no, fingerprints already. Oh. I've dealt a lot with the Y50-70. A little subwoofer there. Very nice. Very nice. This is what the people paid to see. Oh, wow, that thing's huge. This thing is huge and beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's look at what else is in the box really quick. This comes right out. Oh, I didn't even need to take that out. It's got the CD drive. USB CD. Yeah, it's all over there. <clears throat> and over here, you get the power, but pretty straightforward. Pretty much just what you're expecting. Let's get this sucker hooked up, plugged in. So I've had some time to test this now, and I gotta say, I really like what I see. Definitely a very heavy laptop, definitely not made for a machining floor. It comes with Windows 10 Home, and it's got a lot of power. Right now I'm downloading 3D Mark uh, Basic from oldgeeks.com. <laughs> but I gotta say, this thing's definitely, definitely got a lot of weight on it. I almost wonder if there are added weights to it. The, the Y50-70 definitely wasn't this, wasn't this heavy. I put it on my eBay weighing scale, but I think it would break it. Definitely not the kind of thing you want to be going to Japan with. Very responsive. I'm going to try to put Windows 7 on this. All right, so we got a score of 915 in Time Spy. All right, so here's a clearer version of the score. I wasn't super duper impressed by what I saw, but it's better than nothing. I'm gonna try this out on some CAD drawings and see how she does. All right, and here we can have a quick clear look about uh, what comes on the side of the Y700. We get three USBs, which is perfect. We get uh, an HDMI out, a LAN in, and uh, a single headset audio jack, which is better than what you get on the iPhone 7. And an SD card reader. Very nice. So ultimately, I did kind of want a little bit more power, but we'll see how it goes in the future. I intend to throw a bunch of CAD drawings at it. SolidWorks and AutoCAD. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it holds up to that. I think it could have done a lot better on the benchmark. But then again, the benchmark really was made for PCs not laptops. This is a really nice laptop. It's not a really nice PC, but it has everything that you could want, actually. I could want another USB uh, port on the side. I could want uh, uh, a headset, instead of just a headset, microphone and earphone separately, but that's neither here nor there.
Otherwise, I'm really impressed with what I see. Nice big screen, nice big powerful GPU, nice big CPU. So, uh, check back with me. I'm going to do some thorough, thorough tests on this and let you know what I think about it. But that's phase one. Hope you like this. Like and subscribe if you like what you see and if you want to see how this thing does over heavy usage. Anyways, catch you guys later. Have a good one.